A play that uh, maybe stood out over others, uh, 1979, my junior year, we were playing uh, Notre Dame here at ross Aid. And there were well over 70,000 fans. I mean, I think it was the largest attendance uh, in the history of Purdue. Record crowd here at Ross Age Stadium awaiting John Seibel's opening kickoff. Back deep for Notre Dame. The place was rocking. We're marching down uh, to take the lead in the, in the winning score. And uh, we're down about the five yard line. And uh, I saw an opportunity to throw a fade route to my sixth grade friend, uh, Bart Burrell, who was a split end, and uh, I felt like he had a great opportunity to succeed. Second goal, the ball rests at the six. All right, formation. I called the play, threw the fade route to him. He made a great uh, over-the-top catch, and uh, we took the lead and ultimately won the football game. Bart Burrell, Frank to the right side. Raymond Smith in motion left. Into the end zone, Burrell, touchdown. A man-to-man -man situation on the right side was caused by that man in motion. And Mark Herman goes up there for six. Beautifully executed play. Watch him just turned around, flipped it over the head of uh, Dick Bushka, the defender, and six points for Mark Burrell. That play, in my mind, singles out uh, because uh, not only my best friend, throwing it to him, but uh, beating Notre Dame in front of a, a packed house. So, big thrill that day. Bart Burrell, Frank to the right side. Raymond Smith in motion left. Into the end zone. Burrell, touchdown. A man-to-man -man situation on the right side was caused by that man in motion. And Mark Herman goes up there for 